2019, Mountain 2, GSL Season 3, Codex Reversal. Welcome back to the GSL Group G here in Season 3 2019, coming to you with a game number two. You know what that G doesn't stand for, by the way, to derail you? Doesn't stand for Gumiho. Oh my god, you're right, it doesn't. <laughs> An unbelievable result in game number one. Yeah. Gumiho just getting, I hate to use this word too often, but getting dumpstered by Whoa. Armani there. That is a crazy word. <laughs> yeah, so, he did. That, that was insane, though. I'm amazed that Armani was able to pull that off, and I'm not even sure about this group anymore. Man, so next up, Fantasy against Deer. Yes, Fantasy against Deer. That is up next. Indeed. How, are, how are we feeling about Fantasy Deer, our two and three seats? I'm, I'm actually really not sure what to expect. I think on paper, Deer is the stronger player. I mean, yes. Deer has very high results, and Fantasy, you know, not as many. But at the same time, Fantasy plays a very different style than most Terrans. That's true. So it, it could be hard, it could be easy. This could be really one-sided, it could be very close, you know? Sure, so Deer, our Protoss player, uh, mm -hmm. I, I was just checking, Fantasy's picked up by uh, Pixel 1 is his new team. Mm -hmm. Parting, also on Pixel 1. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think having a new practice partner uh, as a Protoss is gonna be anything like it, or are Deer and Parting styles so different that it's not gonna give him any real support? I'm not sure, actually, of how much they practice. I, I don't know. I don't think that Parting and Fantasy sit down and practice too much. Okay. I think Parting or, or Fantasy probably pick certain players that act more like Deer than Parting himself. Um, sure. But we'll have to see if he if he comes in prepared. Cobalt first game. I'm so happy. And it was Deer's pick, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, going for Cobalt as a Protoss player. Uh, I mean, Cobalt, a big wide open map, four player map, right? The only one in the pool, I believe. Yeah, um, this is crazy to me, but sure, I'm ready to be mind blown. Do you pick this with a specific, I mean, obviously with a specific Chi strategy in mind? I guess we'll have to find out yeah. as we get into game number one of match two. In the bottom, right hand corner, in the blue. Pixel One Fantasy. And in the top right, on his map pick, Newbie Deer. I'm ready. My body is ready. Dude, the cheers in the studio for Fantasy so much louder. Fantasy is a legend. Yeah. I, I talked to him a lot because I was very curious why he didn't go back to Brood War. Mm -hmm. It makes sense monetarily speaking. Right. And he just said he enjoyed this game more, and he's not about the streaming life. <laughs> That's what not he said. Not about the streaming yeah. life. But it's so tough, I think, as a pro player to maintain that balance, right? Yeah. Between streaming and entertaining people well, and I think actually Brood properly War preparing. It's like way more entertainment now, right? Yeah, it's all the spawn matches yeah. and everything that they're doing. Um, so yeah. It's nice to see somebody come back. Two, StarCraft 2 specifically. Yeah, a, 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 a great sponsor and a great uh, message for our fans there that StarCraft 2 can't hold its own as an entertainment product. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty early expand there from Deer, dropping that, that uh, natural down already. Yeah, I mean, why not? This map is massive. That's true. So they've spawned on the same side. Is, is that... It? Yeah. Fantasy doesn't know about this yet, but he has to know it's close spawns either way. It can't be cross, right? Right. Yeah, okay, so he's going for the bottom left. Okay, going the wrong way. Cross would not make any sense if he's got to cross directly or something, maybe. Um, I feel like this in general would favor the Terran player. But across, I, I mean, it's hard to say because it, Warp Prisms are just so good. <laughs> like, That's true. If you're cross positions and Warp Prism get in your base or something, you're never going to be able to leave your side of the map. But yeah. this kind of feels like there's more of a window or like a, a, an attack path for the Terran player. Straight up. Yes. So I do think that this in general would not be a bad thing for the Terran. There's a, basically a two and three spots. Like there's three spots that are, two spots that are pretty good and one spot that's not very good. But I don't, I don't actually know how intricate the map spawn locations matter in this matchup. Because sure. this is not oh, my main my matchup. God, did you see that Stargate in the top of his base there? Oh, yeah. The question Stargate. is, does Fantasy see that? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he will. I mean, there's nothing here against it. He is chronoing out. He has to look for the attempts, second pylon. He has oh to look my, for it. Oh my god, he didn't go for it. Where is he going? Moving that Reaper out to the ramp of the natural. I'm surprised he didn't look for the second pylon, but he doesn't want to lose this Reaper either. Wow, okay, so unscouted okay, Stargate. That's nah, going to come well, back in. Oh, yeah, there it is, okay. He th he's just waiting for the Adept to leave, I guess. Ah, smart timing there, obviously, from, from Deer. Go in, go in. There it is. Sees it. Okay. Nice. So now that you know it's a Stargate, is this going to change the game plan for either player? Is it likely? Oh, that that's a nice, that's huge for oh. this to get out if it gets out fully. Because it can always come back in. Right. Oh, I, wow. It changes a little bit, obviously, because you need to be at home to not just lose. Sure. 
Now we see a second barracks going down. Looks like no factory yet for Fantasy. Uh, third command center on the high ground? I like this. This is great. Wow. I mean, like, immediately assuming that it's Star Stargate, you probably don't want to be too aggressive. Right. I mean, Phoenixes are pretty strong, especially if you're doing any tank pushes or anything like that. Uh, but you don't need to worry about being killed if you can see a Stargate, right? There's nothing like a Twilight or a Robo Charge or Blink or some kind of it's crazy destroy timing. you, right? Right. right. And so, with, with a bunch of Marines out, he's got to feel good about his defense as well. Right. So feeling great about a defense and nothing really coming your way, why not take the third? Yeah, man, especially on a huge map like uh, like Cobalt. I mean, once you get a couple tanks out as a, as a Terran player, spread that damage out, uh, push, the, push the Protoss back. How's, so, the th how's the third base on Cobalt as a Terran player? Do you think it's tough, tough to hold? Um, nope. Not particularly. Okay. Like, there's a ledge over top. You can put tanks and stuff. We see okay. stim, a quick stim. Wow, yeah. I and like this. This is a good start for fantasy. I don't see any way to abuse him yet, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find something later. Yeah, third phoenix out, fourth phoenix on the way. How many phoenix need to be out? Probably for like five or six. Okay, okay. And he'll probably stop because he hasn't added a second star from right. Stargate or anything crazy. And Robo right behind it. So, yeah, just looks like a little bit of harassment going to happen here. But with this many Nothing's Marines back home happen and a here. turret already, gee, Christmas. Nothing's going to happen here, Craig. Fantasy being so cautious. Nothing. Robo and a forge on the way. I like the forge decision. Nothing's going to happen. Almost go for double forge. Like, the thing is, I don't know uh, if... Deer has picked up on how greedy this actually is, right? Sure. Like, if you know there's a third, you see double forge, take your third, you know, do whatever. Absolutely. But you, at the same time, the Terran, or the Protoss has to be just as scared as the Terran for a lot of these two base timings. With a, such a high Marine count, too, you know there's two racks at least. At least, yeah. We do see the factory just about to finish here for Deer, or for Fantasy, rather. Um, but, yeah, first factory. Uh, it, pure Marine now. Stim, no combat Ooh, shields. Colossus, no third base yet, though. Oh, my goodness. I like the Colossus decision. Can I you I still think he might actually be a little bit scared of a timing. Because, like, I don't see why you wouldn't take your third. Ooh, nothing in the main here. There are going to be a lot of SCVs to go down here. The Marines rallying up here. Uh, but, wow, five, six, maybe seven? Six. Okay, six kills. Not bad for five Phoenix. No third CC scout, though. Ah, that's true. I think this is fine. With three CC, like, losing those SCVs is annoying. Yeah, that's but true. Three that's CC, true. you can at least produce them quite quickly. It's good to see Deer staying active with these Phoenix. So many players, like, you know, build five of them get pushed away and then they just kind of chill for a while. But Deer staying really active still is not scouted. That's CC though, you're right. It's a great spot. Yeah. Okay, third is down. Okay, so both these players playing very greedy, well, very macro oriented. We're going to see a mid to late game. Uh, mid yep. to late game, PPT. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. First Colossi up plus one. It's kind of interesting to see armor first, but yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> armor, armor first? Armor first for the Terran player. No, no, no he's, he's already got plus one done. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay, then he has one one. Never mind. I was yeah. going to say, that would be... He, he, started trying his, to... he started his plus one when he started his um, stim, like right at the beginning of this. I thought he was going for like a plus one push or something. Uh, this is good because you're just trying to match the Protoss' upgrades. Yeah, and with only without, one like, forge down. Heavily committing. Like, if you go double engineering bay, now that is just mad. <laughs> but one engineering bay, that makes a lot more sense. I was like trying to figure out, like, why would you go combat for or, uh, armor first? <laughs> This makes more sense. All right, so third base finished up for Deer here. Fantasy uh, not floating his over just yet, being a little bit more cautious. And then Twilight, Twilight behind this. to see which third he takes, because I think both have, you know, merits. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you weigh in your head between taking the one that's closer to the, to the uh, Protoss position or you, taking that I one think at, you the, look at the five like o'clock? Defensibility, right? Right. I don't think you want a prism bouncing between your third and your main. That would be really obnoxious. Sure. At least the natural is blocking that from happening. So possibly you take that CC because of that. Good call, and that's exactly what he's doing. We can see on the mini-map he's floating that CC up to that position. Okay, some cannons going down. Looks like a little expeditionary force for Fantasy. Gonna pop to the middle of the map, but Deer, ready to meet him in battle, man. Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you do not want to fight that. No. Third Colossi on the way. Little oh, drop coming what? in. The drop <laughs> barely spotted. Oh, ouch. Gumi getting pushed away. Yeah. And that drop took the long way around like it was a Super Tramp album as well. Look at the Phoenixes where they're positioned now. <laughs> if that drop gets loaded up again, you're not in a good spot. Protecting that island base that I'm sure Deer is eager to take at some point in this game. Yeah. I don't you think ever seen the island no. bases taken no. on Cola? <laughs> okay, forcing an evacuation here out of the third. That's unfortunate as Fantasy did just get that down. Uh, Deer doing a good job putting a lot of pressure on here. Yeah. I actually helped design this map. And they asked me about the island bases. I said, I don't think anybody cares about the island bases. So you just leave them in? Because it'd be really weird if this was just like nothing. Yeah, right, right. It'd be massive open airspace. I mean, either way. That's so funny. Okay, so uh, Templar Archives. Charge. I mean, everything yeah, the, you would the, expect to see, right? Yeah, this game is just going on. Okay, this is uh -oh, a little, little uh -oh. bit bad. Gumi, Gumi. Thank goodness that island base is there. Yeah, fantasy, by the <laughs> way. 
fantasy. Oh my gosh, I called it blue. It's okay, they're basically the same player. They were both playing in blue as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. alright. And they both, like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'll forgive you for and that they both, they were both If it was like Maru drops. and Gumiho, I'd be like, how? How do you even mess this up? But <laughs> fantasy Gumiho, totally reasonable. I kid you not, my first cast with uh, with Artosis, I called him tasteless within like the first Ooh. three minutes. Ooh. That's a nice... Uh, he pretended like it was a compliment, but... He, <laughs> oh, he was dying inside. He didn't, he didn't talk to me for an hour after that. <laughs> it was embarrassing. Okay, Armory going down for the plus two. Uh, Fantasy sticking on this heavy bio style. Look at this push, by the way. Like, who pushes through this? This is a mad, mad yeah. push going through this choke. If these tanks were even a little bit more further forward, nothing would happen here. Right. Even feel, now, like, nothing's really happening. I mean, he's getting a couple SCVs on the edge. It feels like Deer really needs to beef up his army just a little bit. I can, I can stand to see a couple more gateway units. Are, okay, he's warping in a couple more Templar now, so get those Archons in. But right now, those Colossi did look a little naked. He had them a little far forward. I was a little bit concerned. Yeah, there's just not much room to do anything down that attack path. Like, yeah. it's, it's a really choke, choky. It doesn't make much sense to try, but he got something. Both players posturing to the middle of the map. Fantasy going to head back home, and I, I, I guess defend. Fantasy finally has that third base up, but a fourth out for Deer now. Yeah, Fantasy also taking a fourth. I find it very rare that we see, like, Terrans and Protosses just expanding at, like, the same rate, and, like, neither player goes for any commitment. Look, they're both kind of, like, doing the same thing. They're pushing, like, places they shouldn't be allowed to, and then they just back up because they realize they shouldn't be doing this. Right through that tiny little choke on the far east side of the map. Actually, there's a window for those Marines. Okay, here it goes. He's going to pick them up and drop them at the third. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, Deer has some... Man. Did you see those senses? He sees the scan at the fourth base and immediately moves his Phoenixes to intercept a drop that he Gorgeous. didn't even know. What a what an animal. That's insane. He's like three Spider-Men at the same time. Like from did you watch the movie Into the Spider-Verse? Yes. He's like three of the Spider-Men with that many Spidey senses that was going insane. on. Beautiful play. Okay, fighting into this, this is a little bit crazy. Oh man, three sieged up tanks, but the charge cell is already on top of your flank and charge the cell flank is, is so behind as well. Important. Drawing a lot of fire out from those Marines, allowing the Colossi to get on top of them. We see SCVs getting absolutely slaughtered here. Archon's eating a lot of danger from the top. But that third base is under assault, and a warp in is coming in. That fight went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Yeah, attack that, that, that many flank was tanks. actually huge. That flank was so good. Just for just because of the amount of fire that it drew yes. from Fantasy's army. Also, wow. there was some splash. It, it was just a really, really good play. Yeah, beautifully done by Deer there, and <laughs> that drop is not going anywhere. Gooby's holding out hope. Or Fantasy's holding son of a gun. <laughs> Fantasy is holding out hope, it's but okay. that drop not going anywhere, and Deer still knock, knock, knock. Yeah, this on his has got to be it. I don't know how you defend this. Oh, he wasn't able to defend it the first time. Actually, a little bit. Uh, that was, a, that was a weird move with the Zealots. I actually think just committing would have been better. He should be able to defend. The drop's going to get shut down before anything happens. Oh, this Fantasy has got to be it. Denied at every turn like me asking girls out for the junior prom. <laughs> and Deer just get crushed, man. Or Deer crushing here. Uh, Fantasy into the natural. There's just nothing left. I think yeah, maybe GG. Fantasy. Fantasy is known for his GG timing. You know yeah, that, right? Of course, of course. Woo, GSL Cobalt. Yeah. Not going well. Uh, Deer choosing that map and making it work. Yeah, this was Deer's pick, so Fantasy can't feel too bad about a Cobalt map. I mean, obviously Deer had some plans going into it. Yeah, how do you feel about Fantasy's build there? Uh, going. For the I feel like he didn't do anything wrong. Okay. What do you think? Do you think he did anything wrong? No, no. I mean, we talked about Cobalt a little bit and how, how large it was. Normally, to me, that tells me that I want to get some more tanks out a little bit early. I mean, he literally played passive and, and got attacked into. So, That's true. Like, what could you possibly do more to defend that? I guess with the, with the Build amount of... Build, like, 30 bunkers? Like Yeah, with the amount of airspace, maybe try and get a drop in a little bit early. But he with tried, early, With the early Phoenix, yeah. yeah. It's so tough. There was literally nothing Fantasy could have done better, I think. Wow. Like, he was playing defensively and got attacked into. That was what. That is what you want. It's so nice died. to watch a game when you don't have to say, oh, did Fantasy lose that one or did Deer win? When really, Deer that just was won. a clean Deer yeah. win for that one. And Fantasy didn't throw it away or anything, but, no. but really well executed by Deer, uh, especially this micro. Now, the next map, Turbo Cruise 84. These guys are picking my favorite maps all day <laughs> long. Uh, what's Fantasy going to do here on Turbo I Cruise I think 84? we see something similar, but it's a little bit harder to attack as a, as a Protoss. I mean, you're going through these circles and sure. just not as a, not as enjoyable of a game for the Protoss player to dictate. So this should be a lot better for Fantasy, especially if he plays a passive style like he did last game. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm really hoping Fantasy wins just so we can get a Game 3, man. I'm hoping <laughs> Game 3 keep me here a little bit longer. Um, yeah, the inhibitor zones on Turbo Cruise 84. Is that uh, what they're called? Yes. You know what they're called? Well, you I'm, did your homework, guys. So no pro gamer knows that, by the way. <laughs> it's because I one. cast a lot of Bronze League matches. There's uh, nothing to cast for like half an hour. Like, 